So, Dragonflight Season 4 Dungeon Changes. In the player's player feedback loop, as a part of ongoing development in Dragonflight, the development team identified three issues to address based on community feedback regarding the dungeon system as it is. Number one, heroic dungeons are barely distinct from normal dungeons at maximum level, and the distinction mostly only matters during a few days after players first reach max level. Yeah, sure, makes sense. Mythic Zero dungeons rapidly lose relevance a few weeks to an expansion, once the plus season starts, with occasional exceptions for the weekly event quest. Yes. The only true, truly endgame dungeons mode and plus currently rolls around a timer. This means that other than new mega dungeons, there isn't really a place for endgame players who enjoy more methodical dungeon placing and gameplay. Sure, I agree on all of that. I do also want to say one thing before I read the rest of this post. I do think it's um, a really good thing that they use some, like, something like a Faded Season to experiment changes in Mythic Plus generally. Because the Faded Season is not like... It is a real and plus season, but it's not like a full normal patch. And they're not going to be as many players as a normal patch uh, would have. So I think them testing things out, changes like that is um, a good thing, and they should do this more often, in my opinion. Anyway, given a combination of two underutilized difficulties and a gap in meeting player demand, we're restructuring dungeon difficulty and rewards in Season 4. Alright, heroic difficulty and rewards will move up to roughly the current level of Mythic Zero. These dungeons will remain available to queue into via Group Finder, though the item level requirement to queue will also go up accordingly. Mythic Zero difficulty and rewards will move up to roughly the current level of Mythic 8 to 10. This is a bit hand-wavy. Numerically, it's close to um, 10, but not having a time at all or affix really offset it quite a bit, okay? The existing Mythic Plus system will pick up where that leaves off, such that a Mythic 5 instance 4 is roughly equivalent in difficulty, rewards, and a plus rating awarded to a Mythic 15 today. Okay? Here's a visualization of the change. Light blue circles represent where new affixes appear, going from M2, M7, M14 in the current world to M2, M5, M10 in the new one. Okay. Okay, sure. No time I like the present. No time, yeah. Season 4 changes will apply to all 8 of the Dragonflight dungeons. As a part of these adjustments, we have a few, globals, a few goals in mind. <laughs> Recalibrate core difficulties to align with seasonal player experience and progression. Serve the community who enjoys dungeon content but feels that the Mythic Plus content isn't for them due to the pressure of taking part. Create a better environment in Mythic Dungeons to prepare more players to take part in Mythic Plus. One of the most notable changes players can look forward to is the removal of the timer for Mythic Keystone's dungeons uh, for what are currently 0 and 10. Players can run through these dungeons at their own pace without the need to watch the clock while still owning their skills. Here's a look at the changes for each difficulty. Normal is unchanged. Heroic, the tuning and rewards of the discipline, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is the loot now. Refl uh, Crest and Flight Stone changes. I mean, this is a good change. I don't see anything bad about this. Why are some people saying this is bad? There's, there's nothing bad about this, right? I can't see a single... I can't think of a single negative thing. The only thing I saw someone say earlier is that the key... The number is lower of the key that you're doing, which they said makes you feel like you're doing l lower keys. But that's a nonsense argument, in my opinion, because we have pruned numbers before and it wasn't bad, right? Like, you know how many times we have pruned numbers or squished numbers? You know, we used to be level 120 and now we're this level. We used to do billions of damage and now we do million you know, like they constantly change numbers that doesn't mean that all of a sudden you felt much weaker because it always depends on what the other people are doing how much damage the other people are doing in comparison right and the enemies that you're fighting against so if a plus 10 is going to be as difficult as a plus 20 is now then it won't matter like it's just a number numbers are only relevant in comparison to other numbers, right? Like, yeah, of course, a bigger number is bigger, but it doesn't really, like, that's something you will get used to immediately. It does matter for pucks, but why? Why does it matter for pucks? Oh, no, yeah, I understand that it, it, this helps in a lot of positive ways. I'm just trying to find the negative things that people have been talking about, because I don't, I don't think there's a single negative thing about this. Like, the thing with the packs is obviously nice. 
Yeah, going from the difference between a Mythic 10 and a Mythic 14 is the same as a Mythic 20 and Mythic 24, yeah. It's basically the same thing except it's minus 10 key levels, yeah. So at 20 now is at 10 next season. At 24 now is at 14 next season. 26 now is at 16 next season. Okay, listen, let me, let me explain this to you. I guess some people are not 100% understanding this. There is no change in difficulty. I mean, yes, there's a change in difficulty. Of course, a plus 20 in, in the next season will be much harder than a plus 20 is now. But they're changing the levels so you don't have to do a plus 20 anymore. Literally look at it. Like, there, it literally is right here, right? Like, an M plus 20 right now will be the same difficulty as an M plus 10 next season. But you also get the maximum loot from an M plus 10. Right? So, the only thing that changes is the number. Like, yes, you're not going to be doing 20s next season because they're going to be much higher, much more difficult. But that doesn't matter because you don't have to do plus 20s, right? You're doing the equivalent of whatever you're doing right now minus 10, which will give you the same loot. So if you're currently farming plus 20s only, then next season you're going to do plus 10. And it's going to be the exact same thing as it is now. So the difficulty changed, but it didn't. The difficulty did not change. It's the level that changed. There's a difference. The, le the level is different, yes. The difficulty does is not different. Because you're getting the maximum amount of loot of a plus 10. Yes, the maximum amount of loot you get from a plus is plus 10. Think about it instead of numbers. Because numbers can be confusing, I understand, right? Just think about it as if there would be a name. Imagine Mythic plus 20 would be a name. Let's, let's call it Carl, okay? So the Carl difficulty, which is a plus 20, would be plus 10. So it would just change name, you know? It goes from Carl to Pete. But it's the same thing. Carl drops the maximum item level now, and next uh, season Pete drops the maximum item level. But it's the same difficulty. Can you explain the timer removal? Well, the timer removal, there isn't actually, a, well, okay. Okay, let, okay, I'm gonna just explain this the way I think it is easy to understand, okay? So, look at this graphic. Please take a look at this graphic. This is what we have right now. We have normal mode dungeons, we have heroic dungeons, and we have mythic zero dungeons, and we have mythic plus dungeons, right? Now, next season, we are still going to have normal mode dungeons, which have the same loot and the same difficulty as currently normal mode. The heroic difficulty that we have right now is basically going to be removed. And it's going to be moved into Mythic Zero. So basically, imagine heroic would be gone. Heroic dungeons are just gone. And Mythic Zero is now heroic. So next season, heroic dungeons are going to be the same difficulty as Mythic Zero Dungeons, and they will drop the same loot as Mythic Zero Dungeons, right? Now, imagine M plus 2, 3, 4, 5, they're all gone, all right? There's no more Mythic plus 2 Dungeons, there's no more plus 3 Dungeons, and so on and so on, and then you'll eventually have Mythic Zero. And then at Mythic Zero, that's like a Mythic plus 10 difficulty that we have right now, and wait, so... Oh no, wait, you can do myth. Wait, wait, one more. Before I continue talking, I need to check if there's. Oh, okay, okay. So they didn't remove it. Okay, so that means that Mythic plus 2 and 2 10 still exists, right? No, wait. Now I need to, ch to understand this. No, 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 okay, so they, it is gone. Yeah, so basically everything that is currently plus two to plus nine is just gone. The current difficulty of M plus two plus nine. Yeah, so any... So all of like these difficulties that you see here, they're going to be gone. 
No, yes. So the heroic difficulty is going to be gone. This difficulty that we have right here. And these difficulties are gone. The number itself is not gone. Just the difficulty of the current, the current difficulty of Mythic Plus 2 to Plus 9 is going to be gone. So the difficulty that we have right now starts at plus 10. So imagine, when, when, if we only talk about difficulty here, imagine you could only do um, Mythic Zero right now, and then plus 10. That's what we have next season, from a difficulty standpoint. Of course, the number is going to change, so we're still going to have plus 2 and plus 3 and plus 4. It's just the equivalent of 12, 13, 14. Yeah, it is better for casuals, guys. Like, come on. Like, so, people say it's worse that there's, like, a smaller difference um, or that there's, like, a bigger gap between Heroic Difficulty and Mythic Zero. But let's be honest here. The difference between a plus two key and a plus three key is non-existent. Like, I think you're coping if you think that there's actually a difference in difficulty in, between a plus two and a plus three. Like, there isn't... Come on, like, that's just not, that's just not a thing. The good thing is now that the difference between Heroic and Mythic Zero is actually a bigger jump and actually matters. Because who did, no, no one did Heroic Dungeons. Who did Heroic Dungeons or Normal? Like, come on, this is just like, like all of these difficulties are, were like useless. So the, they just removed them because they're useless. So now... A, a really casual player, and we talk about really casual players that do heroic and normal mode dungeons, yeah? At the end of a, like, expansion. But if you're, like, a very casual player, then instead of, try, instead of having to do Mythic Plus at all, you're just going to pr start progressing on normal mode, then you do heroic, and then you do Mythic Zero. And there's actually going to be, like, a, a decent jump between difficulty there's still not going to be an insane amount of difficulty jump right like especially because um you're not gonna have a timer at mythic zero like yeah it looks like mythic zero is going to be as difficult as mythic plus 10 but it won't keep in mind there's no enemy forces there's there's no uh, timer there's no affixes so it's not even though it, the, the, the mobs HP and the damage the mobs are going to do is the same as the Mythic, Zero, Mythic 10 is now, but there's no affixes, no timer. Like, it's still going to be much easier than Mythic plus 10. Therefore, like, it's certainly something that a casual can still very much do. Well, the thing is, I don't think it will be harder to gear because you can farm heroic, which is a good thing. Because you couldn't farm Mythic Zero if you compare it, right? So it's actually better. Because Mythic Zero is something that has an ID. You can only do once. You can only loot once per week. But Heroic, you can do infinite amounts of time, right? By queuing up with the LFG tool. Therefore, the loot that you get from Mythic Zero now, you can farm much more with the next patch. So that means you will actually get more gear. So as a casual player, if you're if you're if you're where between the mythic zero and like and plus area, then you you able to farm much more gear now when you can farm heroic. Why would anyone farm heroics longer? The loot is still pretty bad compared to mythic plus loot. Again, you're not understanding. Heroic is the equivalent of mythic zero. Of course, people are going to farm mythic zero. Look at this. Look at the graphic. No one is farming the current heroic, yes. But next season, people will be farming heroic because it gives Mythic Zero loot, right? Mythic Zero is Mythic Zero? No, it's not. No, it's not. Mythic Zero is the equivalent of Mythic 10. It is right here. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy Jesus! This is not that hard of a concept to understand, guys. Like, wh what? Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, I know that they reward scale. I know. 
just like they are here. Anyway, so this is a very good thing. Well, very good thing. It's it's mostly not really relevant. Like most people are not even. Like most people are, are not really affected by this. The people that are affected are people that are playing like these dungeons here. Like anyone that plays between normal mode and mythic plus ten right now, they will be affected the most because it they get the most changes. I still think it's a positive change for those people. Um, but they will have the most changes. Positive or negative, doesn't matter. If your person farms plus 20s now, or higher than plus 20s, then absolutely nothing changes for you. Nothing. So you have to do a mythic plus 20, which is the equivalent of a mystic 30 for a weekly well? No. No. Look, look at the graphic. Plus 20 gives the same loot as plus 10. Look, difficulty and rewards. The difficulty of a plus 20 and the loot of a plus 20 will be the same as the difficulty of a M plus 10 and the loot of a plus 10. So, okay, you can literally take this picture, yeah? Oh, wait. I can do the snapping thing. Look. Draw a line from here to here. Wherever you want. And it will be the same... Same item level. Same... Same difficulty, same rewards. Here, 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 here. Okay? Same, same, same. And <laughs> But yeah, so most people won't really be affected because uh, um, it's only going to be minus 10 other models. And minus 10 levels on their key, and that's it. No, they won't remove the timer. Mythic Zero never had a timer, right? So there still will be no timer in Mythic Zero. There will be a timer in plus 2 to 10, because they will be the equivalent of plus 12 and to plus 20, right? I don't know who was asking for this change. It's a good change. Why wouldn't they... Guys. Just because no one was specifically asking for this change doesn't mean it's not a good change. It's good. It's, 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 it's a good thing overall. It makes it harder for casual people and just confuse everything. It doesn't. It's literally the opposite. It literally makes it better for casual players. I honestly think... This has nothing to do with people being stupid. I think it has everything to do with people's attention span. Like nowadays, the, the way people are reading articles is like this. Given the combination of heroic difficulty and mythic zero difficulty and rewards will move up to roughly the current level, <gasps> the existing mythic plus system, <gasps> and then they already like start chatting. Like, there's no way people are reading this whole article. No shot. People take a look at this picture and misunderstand it because they didn't read the article. And they're like, oh my god, I can't believe it. And then they start writing, they open up a forum. And then they start chatting, Blizzard, why? It's like, let's read the article. It's right there.